All too often, I'll have a new patient in my chair diagnosed with glaucoma from another provider on glaucoma drops for years, and then I'll take a look and they don't have glaucoma. They have something else that can mimic glaucoma, so they actually don't need to be on eye drops. Here's a great example of what I'm talking about. So this is a patient who also has optic atrophy. You can tell they've got really dense field loss, right? So when we talk about absolute field loss, these numbers are all zero, right? In glaucoma, you've got instead of a 29, maybe it's a 19 or something. That's kind of the relative loss that we're talking about. If it's a non-seeing point, that usually means it's going to be a scotoma. So this is really dense field loss. So either this patient has really bad glaucoma, right? I'm looking to see this rim is cupped all the way to the rim or there's optic atrophy. So I come down here. I'm kind of mentally cutting the nerve in half and I'm looking at the color of the inferior versus the superior. Definitely there's pallor of the superior rim, kind of hooks all the way around temporally there. Why? This particular patient had a branch retinal artery occlusion. And the reason I use this case is because this looks pretty normal. You know the acute findings. What about when it's old, right? You're not gonna see retinal whitening. What you're looking for is really narrow arteries on one side compared to the other. And this is hard, especially when you've got a little beam, you know, this big that you're cruising around looking at. It's easier to do on a photo. But even in this photo, I don't think it's very obvious. And so what test do I need to confirm that this is retinal origin? I'm gonna get a macular scan or even better, a posterior pole scan. That gives me the whole posterior pole in there. And what am I looking for if I had a BRAO, an old one? I'm gonna have retinal thinning. Right, so you can see that in the superior arcade as compared to the inferior. And so this is maybe one of the most common things I see missed, right? Where people will say, oh, this guy's glaucoma, we're treating him. And then I find an artery occlusion and decide it's not glaucoma after all, it's from the retina. Which matters because maybe they don't need to be on medication forever if they don't actually have glaucoma. So I would encourage you to have a high suspicion for optic atrophy, it's more common than you think. And you can save a lot of people from a lifelong, you know, using medication lifelong if you figure out the source of their field losses from something else. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. This was just a sneak peek. For more awesome clinic content like this, please subscribe to KMK's new clinic, Power Up course. This is the number one requested course by practicing optometrists. We have an extensive library, 37 hours, 100 videos to help you dominate any condition that ends up in your chair. Efficient and practical, this course is our best work yet. You can sign up by clicking on the link in the description. I'll see you on the next video.